a ball of clay in a little bit. The first thing you're going to do is turn it into a ball. You're going to cup your hand, put it in here. You're going to cup your other hand. If you use your hand flat, it'll flatten the clay out, right? So you want to cup your hands. Cup, cup. Fly. We're just going to turn it into March a on. ball. Right? We can even roll it a little bit. Once we get into a ball, we're going to wedge it. Remember wedging? Push, push, turn. Push, push, turn. Push, push, turn. As I push, it kind of starts to elongate. It gets longer. I turn it and do it the other way. Right? So I'm always trying to keep that kind of ball shape by turning it. That's Question. It's, uh, it's kind of like when you're trying to soften up an orange, you got to feel it. Yeah, absolutely. You roll it around a little bit to soften it up. Push, push, turn, push, push, turn. This is wedging, absolutely. Once I've wedged it, I want to check for air bubbles. Um, Wire tool. And I need a wire tool. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Okay. Fire. Most of the clay that we have comes from a manufacturer. That means that they make sure it's really nice for us. So the chances are, once you look, there won't be any bubbles. Oh, but there are! That right there is an air bubble, right? Can we see it? No. Can you see it on the screen? No. Oh, yeah. Can you turn off the air? It's so big. The air was so big. I see it. Yeah. Okay. I still get some noise. Oh, good. Okay. So because there was an air bubble, I'm going to smush it back together, smush it back together, make it back into that ball, and wedge it some more. Once I've looked and I've wedged again, I don't need to look again. I've got it. I knew there were air bubbles. I've already fixed them, right? You just need to check that one time because chances are there won't be a lot of them. Once we have it wedged, we're going to turn it into a hamburger patty, yeah? <laughs> so I'll smush it out in our hands. We're going to smush it in our hands so it doesn't stick to the table, right? Clay is real sticky. Smush it out in our hands, turn it into a hamburger patty. Yeah. Then, then we're going to drop it towards us. Really lightly, really gentle. This is how we're going to get it to become a slab, right? As I drop it, it gets longer and longer, right? Once it gets long one way, I turn it so it'll get long the other way. Right? You don't need to cut the sides off. We can worry about cutting it later, right? If there are any little marks, you smush them with your finger. Really gentle. You don't want to push hard. If you slam it on the table, it'll stick and you'll have to start all over. If you smush it on the table, you'll have, it'll stick and you have to start all over, right? So you want to keep it really gentle. All right, it is a sticky situation, right? <laughs>